Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my newest video. Anyway guys, in this video it will be a quick showing of my um, Ghostbusters collection. <clears throat> now guys, as the video says, uh, t-shirts and Blu-ray, um, well, Blu-rays, that I want to show you guys. Um, it's not the biggest collection out there, but I thought because of the um, new film that's coming out soon, um, Ghostbusters Afterlife, I thought just for a fun short video, why not just show you guys what I've got, just for fun. But guys, anyway, um, this is my Ghostbuster shirt. As you can see, guys, there is my Ghostbuster shirt, which is the classic logo with the ghost coming out with the no, the no ghost sign. There you are, guys. It's really cool. So, guys, that is what I'm wearing for this video, guys. Obviously, my Ghostbuster shirt. And, guys, um, it is an official um, Ghostbusters um, t-shirt because on the tag for there it's got Ghostbusters so it is an official um, licensed shirt which is cool okay guys so guys on to the blu-rays now guys um, I used to have the first two films in the DVD set which is got the green background with Slimer I think you know but this is on blu-ray and if I remember, this is the oh, um, this is the Blu-ray, but it's mastered in 4K, and I think this is the 30th, I think this is the 30th or the 35th anniversary release, release. Um, I'm not too sure, but um, oh yeah, it says I'm back celebrating 30 years. So yeah, guys, yeah, guys, this is the 30, this is the 30th anniversary release, guys. There's the front. And then there's a the spine, and then there's the back guys with all four of our guys. Sorry guys, if if it's not coming up. But yeah guys, there you see them. It's great. So yeah guys, um, this does come with a nice slip cover. There you are guys. There's the um, Blu-ray like cakes and stuff, and there's the slip cover, which is really cool. So yeah guys, um. I've gotten rid of my DVD um, um, edition of this because I've been um, upgrading to Blu-ray, which is better pitch quality and sound quality. So, but guys, um, I know that a lot of people doesn't like Ghostbusters too, but as a kid, that is a film I remember watching a lot as a kid, and I honestly love the second film. I I love the first one, but. I honestly think that Ghostbusters 2 is really fun. Um, my favourite is when um, uh, Ganu, um, that guy who, who works at the museum and he's working on Vigo, the Carpathian, you know, that painting. That guy who's from Mr Bean, the movie. You know, uh, I like it when he appears as a ghost and he takes Oscar back to the museum when he's a ghost. That's really cool. And I really, one of my other favourite parts in Ghostbusters 2, it's when um, the ghost ship appears, when the Titanic has come, you know, has arrived. So that's a really great visual, you know, to actually see that. So yeah, guys, oh, one of my favourites in Ghostbusters 2, it's when they are underground in the tunnels on this old railroad and... Um, they actually hear a train. Well, Winston Zedmore, played by um, Ernie Hudson, he actually hears the ghost train. And that is a really great scene for me personally, because I love ghost trains. I love abandoned tunnels and railroads and stuff. And then they see those heads on sticks. So I think that's really cool. <clears throat> but guys, anyway, this is it for my Ghostbusters 1 and 2 um remastered um mastered in 4k blu-ray set which is really great they look really cool on um on blu-ray anyway and in 4k um i um over time i have wanted to get the single releases of the first and second one in their own individual cases and i've always wanted to get the steelbook of the first film because i think that is just a really great um, steelbook with a black background so it's cool but guys that is it for ghostbusters one and two in the set 
Now guys, um, up next, I know that many people who might be watching this uh, probably don't care for this next Blu-ray. And yeah guys, this is of the reboot from 2016. Sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, but you know. But yeah guys, it is uh, Ghostbusters Answer the Call. And this, is, and this is the extended edition that also includes the theatrical edition. And it comes with a bonus disc. And that is of Ghostbusters Answer the Call, the girl um, Ghostbusters guys, which is cool, I suppose. There we are, guys. There's the front spine. And then we've got the back, guys. Um, when I first um, saw the trailer for this, it didn't look that bad. But then I tried so hard, uh, so many times, to try and get through this film past the first five minutes. But I couldn't because I was bored. But I thought, okay, this f because I bought this Blu-ray from Amazon, from Music Magpie, I think. And this was used for like one pound or something like that. So I thought, okay, it's cheap. It, it, it's been used, so, so it's probably going to work, which it does all the way through. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to try and watch it uh, all the way through this time. And I watched it all the way through. Um, I enjoyed it for for what it was. Is it great? No. I mean, this film is basically uh, the exact. Well, it's it's very close to the original film, but it does have changes here and there. But it is like watching Ghostbusters in nineteen eighty four, the original film. Um. It does have great visuals because with our modern technology, it does look pretty good for our technology now with CG and stuff. But as for the film overall, would is it a film I could watch again and again? No. But then with um, but the, with the original Ghostbusters and the second one, because I love the second one, same as the first one, I can watch these more over this one. Just because, I mean, these might have better effects because of the CGI and our technology now. But growing up, I love these films and I've always loved um, practical effects where they look realistic. So that is why I love these films and I still do. And yeah, guys, um, as I said, this film isn't great. It's not good. It's just okay. But it was entertaining enough to enjoy it. So, you know. But yeah, guys. Um, so, guys, this is it. This is basically it for my, Ghostbus my Ghostbusters collection. I know it's not a lot of stuff I got, like, like my T-shirt I'm wearing. Or Ghostbusters 1 and 2 and the 2016 reboots. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, this is just all the stuff I've got. Um, I have been wanting to get the Stay Puffed. Marshmallow Man, you know, the doll or the plush toy or something like that. But not the tiny miniature ones, but the big toys that you can actually hold properly. Um, and I've been wanting to get a big plush of Slimer, which would be really cool. Um, anyway, guys, ending this video, um, this was going to show a DVD as well. Because I did have, as I said, I had the DVD of 1 and 2 in the, you know, in... On DVD with a green background with Slimer, and I and I'm not sure where my go um, where my DVD is of the real Ghostbusters, the animated uh, show, and I think I had volume one of the real Ghostbusters somewhere, but yeah, guys, I do have the real Ghostbusters somewhere, but I couldn't find it in time because I got such, you know, I I got you know a good amount of stuff in my room that's all over the place. But I just wanted to do a video of the things I have got out that, that I've left out to actually watch and stuff. But guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.